I'm just nice and breezy. Air's flowing and I'm just nice and breezy. Hey everyone, it's me, Halise, endeavoring to persevere as always. If you're new here, I make videos about my chaotic good life. Subscribe, follow, social media, all the things. If the spirit moves you, no pressure. This is actually something I've wanted to try for a while. The older I get, the more I am curious to just see about unlearning the sort of social and cultural things we're taught to do and making sure that it's actually a conscious decision that I'm making to participate in those things. And so this is a very insignificant thing in the grand scheme of choices of life, whether you're gonna wear underwear or not. But it definitely ties into a video that I made earlier this year talking about how I have developed a personal style over the years. I see this as a continuation of that conversation. If you're interested to watch that video, link will be in the eye of Sauron for you to check it out. So a few disclaimers before I actually get into the nitty gritty of how I actually felt about wearing no underwear for a week. The first one being, I did not try this while I was actively menstruating. I am a person with a period, and so I definitely did not feel comfortable trying this during my menstruation cycle, even though I do use a menstrual cup and leakage is very limited to basically none at all. Um, I still like to have a second layer of underwear as a comfort. Uh, I wear a very specific kind of underwear that has a built-in gusset, so if anything does leak, if there are any semi-accidental situations that happen, um, my underwear has me covered. So I definitely didn't try this while menstruating because I feel like the whole point of trying this is to see if you will feel more comfortable, so why set yourself up to fail? <laughs> so that's one. As you all know, a lot of us are in lockdown. A lot of us are trying to social distance during this time. And so I definitely think that played a factor. I didn't really go too many places without wearing underwear throughout the week, um, just because we're all trying to not go places. So I did try it when I did my weekly sort of grocery shopping that I do. The few times I was able to step out quickly to run some errands, pick up the mail, things like that. I did get to try it, but this obviously, the year of 2020 has been. And so I think that will definitely inform the pros and cons that I am about to go over. And I think you should take that into consideration for sure. So, I'm gonna count this as a pro, but super breezy. I'm just super breezy right now. I'm, I'm not wearing underwear right now while making this video. Super duper breezy. I feel like everything's got good circulation. Air is getting in, you know what I'm saying? I feel a little bit cooler, amen? Um, I feel loose, I feel free. <laughs> I actually live in San Antonio, Texas, and so as it's gotten hotter, I have noticed that not wearing underwear actually really helps with just naturally keeping my body a little bit cooler during this time. I will also say that by the end of the day, I don't smell nearly as strong as I usually do when I am wearing underwear. Something worth mentioning though, in regards to that, is my wardrobe. So similar again to that developing my personal style video that I made earlier this year, I, because again, I live in a hot area, my wardrobe is definitely tailored, I think, to go really well with not wearing underwear, specifically because a lot of my shorts, etc., are linen cotton blend. I love me a good linen cotton blend anything. It's gonna moisture, keep the moisture off of you in the summer. It's gonna help you feel a lot more breezy. Even right now, I'm wearing this sort of knit top that is loose, lets the air get in. <laughs> um, my wardrobe is definitely tailored to this environment and I think because of that, it's also tailored to this idea of just like letting myself air out as much as possible. And so I would say if you're the type of person who likes to wear maybe skinny jeans or you know, tighter fitting shorts and things like that, especially if they are jean, which is going to be a coarser, rougher fabric against your skin, um, going without underwear might not be the best thing to do because it probably chafe a lot, maybe a little bit and make you less comfortable. So. You know, I think if you can, depending on what your wardrobe is, I think going without underwear can actually be quite pleasant.
Now that being said, I would say one of the biggest cons with not wearing underwear would be booty sweat. <laughs> um, again, I live here in Texas, it's very hot. And so the few times I did go out and I was out for quite a while um, and it was hot, it was in the 90s, lower 100s. You know, you don't realize how much underwear adds a little bit of comfort in that perspiration. Um, you don't realize that until they're not there. And so I think, again, what made it not so bad for me was that the shorts I wear generally are very looser fitting. They're made of cotton linen fabric blends. And so they're going to just breathe and not necessarily show sweat as much as other fabrics. Keep in mind that your groin area does have apocrine glands just like your underarms. And so, if you're starting to perspire, and I'm sure you will know this about yourself by now, if you are someone who perspires profusely from their groin, you may not want to go without underwear because the underwear could be adding that extra bit of security um, to help you feel just a little more confident when you're out in public. I know for me, I have, I have hyperhidrosis. I do sweat excessively as well. And so I could see how if you're someone who sweats excessively, especially from your groin area, that could make you, in turn, really self-conscious. You're already sweating, it's gonna make you that much more self-conscious, which will then make you stress sweat that much more, and it's this vicious cycle. So again, if you're the type of person who, even just the thought of going without underwear, like, makes you sweat, <laughs> then maybe you don't try it. The perspiration that I had going on in my groin was never enough to show, um, but I could definitely feel that it was there. I could feel that I was perspiring. So that can add to your level of anxiety and stress and make you just feel very uncomfortable, especially if you're in a public space. This one I feel is a neutral thing and it's discharge. So because it's really just gonna depend on your body and how your body works. So I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a pro or a con, but it is something to keep in mind. So when it comes to discharge that is not menstrual related, I, for me, it was not a pro or a con. It was just kind of a thing. Every person who experiences discharge is going to have a certain amount depending on where they are in their cycle, their hormone cycle, um, depending on certain levels of arousal, all of that kind of stuff is going to dictate how much you do or don't discharge. Um, but it's perfectly normal, of course, to have discharge. So for me, it was never, I never had so much discharge that it made a stain or anything like that, or it seemed like I had sweat or something like that. My discharge was never epic like that. Again, I think it's because in general, my wardrobe, all of my shorts are pretty loose fitting. It also didn't hinder or mess up the whole, my whole laundry routine. Um, when I'm not, when I wasn't wearing underwear, I didn't feel like uh, my shorts were extra smelly or they were extra stained or anything like that. It's just, it was kind of whatever. So maybe if you're someone who has quite a bit of discharge when they're in their fertile phase, uh, maybe wear underwear during that time. <laughs> um, but if you're someone who thinks, eh, I'm good, you know, then do you. The last thing I will mention as a happily married woman is, uh, you know, eyebrows, eyebrows. I definitely think that going without underwear can be a bit of a, you know, relation starter, get things kind of interesting and get, get a bit of a fire, get of a spark, if you will, ignite. I definitely noticed that there have been times where if I wasn't wearing underwear and Mr. Hollies did notice that, you know, eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. All right. Overall, I really do believe it comes down to comfort. If you find comfort in wearing underwear, then wear the underwear. Um, if you are curious to try something new to shake it up at home, try going commando and see how it feels. At the end of the day, it is about doing what makes you feel comfortable. I know now that I've gone the week without wearing underwear, um, I've definitely incorporated it into my overall lifestyle. As I'm filming this video, I'm not wearing any right now. I'm wearing shorts, but I'm not wearing underwear underneath. Um, and it's great. I really like it. I can tell that there are certain days where not wearing underwear feels like the comfortable thing to do. And then there are other days where wearing underwear feels like the comfortable thing to do. At the end of the day, it's about choice and you can make it for yourself. 
So, in the comments below, have you tried this? Have you tried going commando for a week, just giving it a whirl just to see how it goes? Especially right now, since we're all kind of at home and it is kind of like, get dressed for why a little bit, you know? A big thank you to my Patreon production team, patreon.com slash Halise. There you get early access to videos as well as private weekly vlogs from me. Thank you so much again for stopping by if you're new here and I will see you when I see you. Breezy in the wind. Feeling it. Breezy in the wind. Feeling it. I'm